Let's learn how to set up Microsoft Classroom. To get to Classroom, go to the portal and click on the Microsoft Classroom link. Enter your username and you'll be redirected to Classroom. Alrighty, we're inside Microsoft Classroom. On the left hand side, you'll see your timetable classes have automatically been added for you. All you need to do is activate the class. To do this, click on a class and then click on the Manage tab. From here, click the Activate Class button. If you see a yellow banner at the top of your page, it simply means you have files not set up. To kickstart this process, click the Files tab. Once this page is loaded, close the tab and refresh your classroom. The final step is to set up your class notebook. Click on the class notebook tab. In the bottom right hand corner, click begin setup. These are the sections that will appear in your student's notebook. Think of them as sections in a three ring binder. You can keep the de default sections or click the X to delete a section or the add section button to add more. Once you are happy, click next. Would you like to create a private teacher space? Heck yes, you do. The private teacher space is a section in the notebook that only you can see, which is perfect for storing exams or just preparing any content. So click yes, and then click next. The set up multiple notebooks section allows you to create all your notebooks at once instead of making them individually. This is pretty handy and providing you are happy with the same sections for all your notebooks, so I'd recommend you use it. On the right hand side is a preview of what your notebook will look like. Notice you'll have a collaboration space, a content library, a teacher space, and then all your students are listed below. If you click a student's notebook, the teacher space isn't visible, and your students can only see their own notebook and not their peers. If you're happy with everything, click Create. And boom, that's it. Your classes are ready to go.